Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the taste, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today we visit Warren's Nova Coffee Company. Great food and a great vibe. I also prepare my easy tomato anchovy pasta. But first we head to Columbiana for made from scratch comfort food. We are in Columbiana at the Bellaria Pizza and Italian Restaurant and the owner is Ryan Kelly, good Irish boy. Absolutely. Down here with all this Italian food. And you own a couple of the Bellaria Mm -hmm. franchises. Why did you think that was a good brand to get into? Um, my business partner and I, we got in at a young, we got, I got in when I was 18, I believe he was 20, 21. Um, his grandma was one of the founders of Bellaria, and we bought the location in Girard. It was going, it was actually going out of, kind of going out of business or transitioning. The two owners were moving into different careers. And, you know, really it was the timing part, but to me now, I guess getting into it was timing. Staying in it was just the ability, the, the quality products, just that it's not your normal franchise type food and you have the ability to, to kind of branch off from different things. Well, yeah, because some of them are just basically pizza shops. Yeah, uh-huh. and, and you know, again, they've been around since 1957, so um, it's not broke, so don't fix it with a lot of the things. And that's kind of been our mantra and, and, and really, what I don't like to hear is, I don't like people call me and say, how come your Bella is? You know, I like consistency. I try to make mm-hmm. sure that the whole franchise, there's 14 locations I was now. just going to say, so there's, yeah, 14, there's 14. And then when you buy in mm-hmm. to the brand, what are the requirements that in every Bella Ria that will be consistent? Yeah, so consistency, there's um, all the, uh, the pasta sauces are the same. You all uh, make them to the yes, same recipe. Yes, all the pizza recipes are the same. Now, do you do a thin and a thick here? Yeah, so that's one thing that I'm, you know, I like to show you guys. So w- that's the big trend that's in, in pizza, just not just, I guess, locally, but across the country is a thinner crust. Mm-hmm. So we started doing a 16 inch. So we really have four different sizes of pizzas. We have your six inch pizza, at your little personal size that I think everybody's seen. Exactly, The 12 yeah. inch, which is the most popular for all the Bellarias. Um, and then the middle one, so we go small, medium, and our large is our 16 inch. Um, it's eight slices. It's a big, it's a thinner crust than our our half sheet that again everyone's had. So what really excited us about this location in particular was that it was a clean slate. There was never a Bellaria here. You know, when we bought Gerard, it was existing. We had you know kind of carry on the same thing. Same with our and with the regulars, in, in you Warren. wanted to same, keep accommodating. Yeah, same with Hubbard. You can't you know even if there's things you feel like you want to change, you can't because they're working. You know, mm-hmm. so out here that's what we were excited about. Everybody's first impression. You know, it's going to be everyone's first impression. Excuse me. So, like everything, we we could start however we wanted to. Uh, you know, obviously we have the base of the pastas and the pizza that we know works. But you know, again, it, it, there's a couple uh, images of some plates you saw. But, yes, you know, I mean the chicken, the wings, the pasta, the fish, um, and then you do you know catering. Yeah, you know. So, so I mean, you really can get creative with everything. It, it, really, we imp- we we've tested stuff just through catering, see, seeing what's worked, you know, and, and what doesn't work. You know, like for example, we had the fresh tenders and you, you guys saw earlier. Yeah, um, now that was interesting. So you were telling me that wings are out of control. Yeah, price the, price. the pricing is just crazy. And you know, I think the crazy part is my partner, my business partner's grandmother who founded one of the founders of Bellaria, she told us, I remember before she passed away, like she used to put chicken wings on the counter like peanuts, you know. To just give them away. away. So, you know, and now it used to be what used to be a scrap. It's now like gold, you know. So now this is all white so, meat. Yeah, so this was a way that we, we found to just, I mean, we still serve wings. Um, we do yeah. you do hand breaded and regular. I gotta try one of these. Yeah, but this was, uh, so these were a way that we kind of, I guess, in a sense, combated that little price. Uh, we mm-hmm. did fresh breaded boneless wings and fresh breaded tenders. It's all white meat. Um, and you hand bread these yourself? We hand bread them per, to order. Like they're not pre-breaded or nothing like that. They're literally breaded to order. To go along with that, we also do the, the broasted pressure fried chicken. You know, those are now the other Now what options. is that? So, you know, that seems like a really old, 
school cooking method. Yeah, so it's just... How did you, um, you know, you why would you We actually got in that, and again, like you pick up a little things from everywhere you go. So mm -hmm. when we, that's something that's really popular in Warren. So when we bought the Warren location, you know, you got the Buena Vista and Sunrise that does yeah. that. It's almost like if you have a restaurant in Warren, you don't have pressure fried chicken, you might as well just leave now. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of so what I learned. So, I mean, so we, they, that when we bought Warren, they had it. So we kind of carried, it, it was a really good recipe. We carried it on there. Um, you know, it's just, you hand bread the chicken to order. You put yeah. it, um, you, you literally seal it in a pressure fry and it, you know, it, it cooks in that grease and in that, you know, steam and everything. And it's, it's very juicy, good chicken. So it really preserves, it never yeah, been dry Yeah, it locks in the juices, yeah, just, I mean, Is you it can longer tell, to cook in that? Uh, you know, it's it's probably, depending on any, anybody, any every pressure fry is different, like, you know, our one in Warren takes a little bit over 16 minutes, this one here takes about 14. A lot of our thing in the beginning was getting business back, you know, customer service, yeah. and that's like, that's where we, our number one thing. So I'll come out here in the dining room at night, I'll make sure I kind of meet people, talk to them, and I've done that whether it's here, or Bellaria and, and Warren, or the or my bar it's just talking to people I feel like if you're good to people they're really, they give you a little bit more leeway a little more we have something's you know, not because right again now. I mean it, I don't care if you've been in business for 20 50 years 60 years you're gonna have a mistake someone's gonna make a mistake mm -hmm. but if you're good to people I think they'll they'll be good to you back I again you're not gonna please everybody there's some people that just can't be pleased and I get I think my my partner accepts that more than I do because I just can't accept the fact that you can't please somebody The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Summer means magic tree. Look at this patio. This is one of my favorite places to be on a summer night. Casey, we have all the things going on here at the magic tree on our beautiful patio. We have the Saturday summer music series not to mention all the other goodies like our seasonal menu. Absolutely. Oh, That's our can of chips, our cedar plank salmon, and this is our Casey and the Sunshine Salad. How do you like that? And <laughs> then our gosh, seasonal drinks. That's wow. our mermaid water, and it ain't no water, by the way. Oh. And this is our fresh blueberry mule. Oh, that is beautiful. And I'm telling you, what is your slogan? Come to the magic tree to eat, drink, and celebrate. And I say repeat. Summertime is here, the living is easy. Get to the magic tree. Cheers. Cheers. Mayflower Wollum is your full service independent insurance agency for what matters most. Home, auto, life, boat, RV, umbrella. We'll find the right product at the right price for your family. Mayflower Wollum with three locations to serve you. Here at the upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rooley Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Today's recipe is so easy and it comes together so quickly, you are going to love it. It's my husband Ken's pasta with tomatoes and anchovies. Delicious, very few ingredients and it comes together, oh, 
under a half hour. And what I really like about it is when he cooks, I have to do the prep work and then clean up, but there's hardly anything to do and dinner is ready in a flash. And you're using fresh tomatoes. I'm going to use Roma's, but these are good all year long because you're cooking them in a sauce so you don't have to worry about getting the real fresh into summer tomatoes. And you just need two fresh herbs. I'm going to use a lovage from my garden, which is hearty, comes back year after year, has like a celery flavor to it, and then regular parsley. But you could also use uh, basil, thyme, you know, any two herbs that you'd like. And it's just so quick and easy, you're gonna love this dish. So let's go over the ingredient list and then I will make Ken's pasta with tomato and anchovies. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of pasta. I'm gonna use perciatelli. You'll need some salt, five tablespoons of unsalted butter, three oil-packed anchovy fillets, six garlic cloves thinly sliced, two to two and a half pound of medium tomatoes. I'm going to use Roma. You'll also need some fresh herbs. I'll be using parsley and lovage, but feel free to use basil, tarragon, or chives. I've dropped the pasta while we are getting the sauce ready. Now don't forget, before you drain the pasta, reserve about a cup of that pasta liquid because we're gonna need this for the sauce. So I've melted the butter, and now I'm going to add the sliced garlic, never enough garlic, and the anchovies. And don't be squeamish about using anchovies. It really adds a nice briny taste and it just adds some extra flavor and it really doesn't make it taste fishy. So we're gonna cook these for about four to five minutes until it softens before we add the tomatoes. So now you can see the anchovies basically disintegrated but they've left a nice browning for this garlic. And now we're going to add all of these tomatoes. We're gonna soften these, add a little salt and pepper, and it'll be about eight minutes. Yeah, eight to 10, you know, just take a look at it. And they'll cook down and soften and break apart. And then we'll add some salt, not too much because we do get the salt from the anchovy. And we'll just stir this around until everything softens and comes together. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and it's softened beautifully and it's made its own sauce. Now remember, all this is, is butter, the juices from the tomatoes, and some anchovies and garlic. Now I'm gonna add a little at a time the pasta, oh, making a little bit of a mess here. And we'll stir this in and cook the pasta a little further. And we'll see how much of the pasta water we're gonna need to loosen up the sauce. This is only gonna be about a two to three minute process. And you just wanna cook this through so the pasta rewarms after you've drained it. Oh yeah, this is nicely coming together. But you know, it does look like it needs a little bit of the pasta water. So we'll add a little bit of that. Now remember, no cheese is needed for this sauce. All the flavor comes from the tomato and the garlic, and then the herbs that we add at the very end before serving. Now usually Ken and I serve this directly out of the skillet. We garnish it with the herbs there, but for a nice presentation, if you're having people for dinner, put it in a pretty pasta bowl. Looks beautiful, fresh, and it's wonderful for leftovers. Um, let's see. Mmm. So simple, but packed with flavor. You're going to love it. 
You could go with the red, because it is a pasta, or because it's so light and delicate, I uh, am going with a lovely Pinot Gris, La Crema. Love this wine. It's very, very fresh and crisp, and it matches the fresh ingredients. So go to my website. This is a recipe you will make over and over and over again. It is Ken's Pasta with Tomatoes and Anchovies. Go to my website, get that recipe. Tell me how much you like it. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years. And my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative. Dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for your business. We work with several companies so you have choices for your insurance needs. Commercial properties, professional liability, bonding, and general. Trust Mayflower Wollum. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping so we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My mom was always in my corner. Always pushing me to do better. I couldn't have asked for a better mother. So when she needed assisted living... I did my research. Doctors, nurses... And others with family and assisted living... They all said... Trust the name you know. Briarfield. For assisted living with top health care experts, a caring staff, and a comfortable home-like setting... Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. Hi, I'm Bob Kamara. The time has come for me to step back and let my son Rob and daughter Brianna take ownership of Kamara Jewelers. We are celebrating my 41 years in the business with a huge retirement sale where store-wide discounts are up to 70% off. I want every piece sold. Nothing is held back. Beautiful diamond jewelry, color gemstones, and more. Largest selection of engagement rings. Up to 70% off Kamara Jewelers. Huge retirement sale. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. When I fall in love, I get dizzy. I fall out there just a two dish. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. 
Nova Coffee Company is right here on the square in downtown Warren and it's owned by brothers John and Logan. And you're the kitchen end of the deal. I am, yes. And Logan is the coffee connoisseur. And you had a really cute, so what was your slogan for what you guys do? So what I say is if you think it, if you drink it, Logan thinks it. If you chew it, I do it. So, okay, yeah, so. It's, uh, something like that. <laughs> now a year ago, you were what, in the insurance business? Yeah, yeah, about a year ago I was selling insurance and uh, we decided let's do something different. <laughs> and I mean, this really is a great concept. Thank you. And where did your cooking background come from? Just home, self-taught. Uh, we, we had went away and had some donuts on a family trip and came back and I said, man, I think I can do those. So I did them on my stove and a fryer that was a one by one fryer and uh, we ended up liking them, so. Wow. wow, so now you only do the cake donuts. We do, for, for now, yeah, for now. Hopefully we can expand. And them. you yeah. may, did you like look at a bunch of different recipes? I mean, how did you hone it to what, yeah, yeah, what a, you wanted? A lot of trial and error. I mean, this whole section of me is from the, <laughs> the taste the testing. Yeah, <laughs> taste testing and like trying out different things. So yeah, we, we, just, we just really got a, a, a recipe that we liked and went with it. So really. like the base of your donuts always are the same. They are. And the flavoring comes with your toppings. Yes, um, we, do, we do usually have six flavors of donuts. Uh, one donut usually is something different. So we'll do a chocolate or a red velvet or a blueberry or something like that. But for the most part, we have a sour cream based donut. Oh, it is sour, sour cream, cream based. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. And you don't mix it with anything, fruit or do any of that. No, nonsense. no, we do. Every once in a while, we'll get crazy. I've put jalapenos in it before. We do savory donuts and, and we'll do some, some different things like that. Put bacon in it. Well, I um, know because yeah. that one customer, yeah, the girl, was a little bummed that she, the bacon donut now wasn't feel, here. Now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, in your top seller is? Our top seller is, it's a tie between our, our uh, classic Nova special which is just a simple glazed donut with, with our Holland cream on top. And then um, we have our Buckeye donut that we make look like a Buckeye. Yeah. And uh, basically, when people go to weddings, they eat the entire Buckeye tray before we get there. So we were like, I might as well make a donut out of it. And in the kitchen, what do you, you know, you're trying to keep it simple, mm -hmm. but fresh ingredients. Sure. So you're only open really for breakfast and lunch. Yeah, yeah. So we, we run a brunch is uh, is our big um, kind of our, our big food is, is the brunch. Uh, we have Beaudrillon burritos. Um, so you basically it, it starts out with cheese, egg, and tortilla, and then you add proteins and, and veggies or whatever you want. And then we we love our, our open face toast. Um, so we every Those month we delicious. switch them up. And uh, you had the avocado toast. I did, and it was yeah. excellent. Good, and what kind of bread do you like to use? Is it from a local baker? It, it, well, it's from Youngstown. Um, Salones is. is is the uh, the baking company yes. that we use? Uh, they, yeah. they they cook everything and bring it, drop it off to us. So our bread's pretty fresh. It's it's usually cooked that morning and then brought to us. So now, if you drink it, Logan thinks it. That is our new clever tagline. And if you chew it, John does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now. The pour over you explained to me earlier yes. is really better for a darker, richer blend, right? Yeah, I would say uh, it's all about texture. You do a pour over, then you're gonna keep some of that texture. But this here is a siphon, and if you do the siphon, the siphon's gonna give you probably some more of those smooth, fruitier flavors that you're gonna get out of maybe an Ethiopian coffee. Um, so we're gonna put this on here. So this is like a science experiment. So this heats up, then this bubbles up, right? And it goes yeah. into this vessel. So the pressure in the bottom basin, because the heat's there, it's becoming so hot that that pressure is building in there and the water has nowhere to go except to go up through this little glass tube. And you actually see it rising in there right now. And it's gonna go through the filter that we put in. And you know what I thought that was interesting when you were talking about the three waves of coffee? Yeah. Yeah, so the first wave is gonna be during like Folgers, Maxwell House. It's do coffee at home. And then the second wave is gonna be your big franchises. It's quantity, quantity, quantity. You can go anywhere in the United States, you can go anywhere in the state, anywhere in your, in your county, and you're gonna have the same coffee yes. no matter where you go. But then the third wave is coffee shops like ours where it's quality over quantity. And we focus on having just a quality cup of coffee from the beans that we have, from the farms that the beans come from. And how do you quality. source your beans? Like, where do you find ones that you are up to your 
high standards. It all comes to the tasting. So there's different there's different roasters all over the place. There's local roasters yes. um, that we've had before, like Brand Street Coffee Roasters mm -hmm. and Boardman. Um, we use their espresso beans because they do a fantastic job. Uh, and then the other coffee roasters that we've chosen, like this one's from uh, Santa Cruz, California. It's Verve. from a roastery called Verve. And, and this is a lighter, fruitier blend. Yeah, actually the notes are right there. So this is a Colombian Rio Blanco. So this is ready to go. We have all of our water that just went from the bottom basin up to the top because the pressure is so great in the bottom that it okay. rises up. So go ahead, you can dump that in. Just dump it right just in. Just dump it all in. Okay. Don't want to waste it. Oh, and it all came out, okay. And I'll give you this, and we're gonna stir that for 45 seconds. Okay. And where did you become such a coffee connoisseur. Well, I lived in Australia for a couple of years and I learned how to do coffee there and the coffee culture there is a little, bit, a little bit more intricate than it is here in uh, Warren, Ohio. But I uh, learned a lot of coffee then I moved back and that's when I learned how to do the siphons, the pour overs and uh, a little bit more intricate style coffee. Uh, you want to do a little, you want to add a little bit of air to the coffee. Okay, and what does that do to it? It's just like wine. Also, a big <laughs> important thing is it looks cool. Coffee only tastes cool, good if it looks cool, so. Okay, <laughs> all right. Wow, very good. So you're gonna smell some of those notes in there, the key lime, the shortbread, and then the taste is where you're gonna get that buttery taste from, that texture. Wow, it really does finish buttery. Yeah. It really, I'd walk a mile for a good donut. Yeah, and right? a good cup of coffee. <laughs> walk the mile. I mean it. This place is really, you've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.